So Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is launching a massive project with a mind-blowing investment target of up to $7 trillion. That's more than the GDP of Japan, Germany, and India combined. And this is not a joke. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this crazy project and why it matters so much for the future of AI. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update from me. All right, let's get started. So what is this project all about? Well, as you may know, OpenAI is one of the leading AI research organizations in the world. They are behind some of the most groundbreaking innovations in AI, such as ChatGPT and DALL-E. But here's the thing. The world doesn't have enough AI chips to keep up with the booming demand. This shortage hampers AI progress across major tech companies, not just OpenAI. Now Sam Altman has a bold plan. He wants to revamp the global semiconductor industry, aiming to significantly increase AI chip production. His vision involves rallying chip makers, suppliers, and consumers to support AI's rapid expansion, requiring a hefty investment of $5 to $7 trillion. Altman is already engaging with potential investors like the UAE and using social media to drum up support for building a robust AI infrastructure capable of sustaining AI's growing appetite for data and power. His ambitious project raises questions about funding, risks, and the future of AI development. Let's start with the vision. What is Sam Altman's vision for the global semiconductor industry and AI infrastructure? Well, to understand that, we need to understand the current situation of the AI chip market. And to be honest, it's not very good. In fact, it's pretty bad. You see, the AI chip market is dominated by a few players, mainly NVIDIA, which is the leader in the field, followed by Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm. These companies have been producing and selling AI chips for years, and they have a lot of expertise and experience in the field. But they also have a lot of limitations and challenges. For one thing, they are not able to keep up with the demand of AI chips, which is growing faster than they can produce. For another thing, they are not able to innovate and improve their AI chips as fast as they need to because they are constrained by the physical and technical limitations of the current chip technology. And for yet another thing, they are not able to offer their AI chips at a low and affordable price because they are facing a lot of competition and pressure from other industries that also need chips, such as smartphones, gaming, cloud computing, and automotive. For OpenAI and similar organizations, this is a huge issue. They can't get the chips they need to power their AI projects, slowing down their ability to grow and innovate. And of course, Sam Altman isn't okay with this. He wants to shake things up and make sure AI chips are plenty, affordable, and cutting edge. He envisions a world where AI can grow without these barriers. How? By building a new chip-making ecosystem that brings together manufacturers, suppliers, and users to meet global AI needs. He plans to invest in chip companies, build factories to make chips efficiently, and explore new chip technologies like neuromorphic and quantum chips. He's also looking to work with other AI groups, governments, and anyone interested in making this vision a reality. Altman's plan is bold and filled with challenges, but it's also full of potential to revolutionize AI and how we make chips. All right, now, why is there a big push for a new semiconductor strategy and a fresh AI infrastructure? The reason is straightforward. What we have now just doesn't cut it. It's not capable of keeping up with the AI demand, supporting its growth, fueling its innovation, or securing its future. AI is more than just technology or a set of tools. It's a powerful force changing how we live, work, and interact across all facets of life. It's introducing new opportunities and challenges, finding innovative solutions, and sometimes creating problems. AI is redefining our ways of thinking, communicating, learning, working, playing, and living. It's a force that's moving quickly in ways we can hardly predict or keep up with. And this force is expanding at an incredible rate. Some estimates say the AI market could hit $267 billion by 2027, with a growth rate of 33.2% per year. Computing power for AI might double every 3.4 months, increasing by 300,000 times in a decade. By 2030, AI could add $15.7 trillion to the global economy, boosting it by 14%. These numbers illustrate AI's rapid growth and huge impact. They also highlight the urgent need for an upgraded AI infrastructure. The current setup falls short in handling the vast data AI uses and creates, supplying the huge energy AI needs, providing the intensive computing power AI relies on, accommodating the wide range of AI models, and supporting the variety of AI applications available. 
That's why a semiconductor overhaul is essential. We now know what Sam Altman wants to do and why it's important. But the big question is, how will he get the huge amount of money needed for this project? We're talking about needing between five and seven trillion dollars. That's an enormous amount of cash, more than anything ever funded before. It's bigger than the entire budget of the US in 2020, more than the total wealth of the top 10 richest people, and even surpasses the market value of giant companies like Apple and Google combined. So where will this money come from? Who will provide such a massive investment and why would they do it? One possible money source is sovereign wealth funds. These are huge investment pools run by countries. They have tons of money and like to invest in big long-term projects that can help their economies and societies. For instance, the UAE has a massive fund called the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority with over $1 trillion ready to invest. They invest worldwide in tech, infrastructure, energy, and more. The UAE, which Sam Altman has been talking to, could be a key player in funding his project, offering a lot of cash and access to the Middle East's growing AI market. However, using sovereign wealth funds isn't without its problems. They can be secretive, have their own hidden goals, and might want control over the project's direction. They could also bring political issues, especially if other countries see the project as a threat. Private equity is another funding source. These investors look for big, bold projects that promise high returns. SoftBank's Vision Fund is a huge player here, with $100 billion for investing in tech and other areas. They could be a great partner for Altman, giving him access to Asia's vast AI market. But private equity firms usually want quick returns and might push the project in ways that aren't ideal. They could also clash with other investors who have different ideas about the project's future. Tech giants like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, and Apple are also potential investors. They have plenty of money and are always looking for new tech that can boost their businesses. Microsoft, which already works with OpenAI, could be a particularly good fit, offering both money and a way into the North American AI market. Yet, partnering with these giants comes with its own set of issues. They might not give the project enough freedom, wanting it to align too closely with their own products and strategies. And they could face pushback from competitors and regulators who see them as too powerful. But also, there could be other options, like crowdfunding or government grants. But whatever route he takes, raising up to $7 trillion won't be easy. It's a massive undertaking that will require vision, bravery, and expertise. It's a project that could significantly impact the AI world and beyond. Now, Altman has been around the block in the chip industry, with investments in ventures like Rain Neuromorphics, which works on brain-like chips, and his role in starting the Tigris project aimed at developing a new, efficient AI chip. However, these projects hit snags like funding issues for Rain Neuromorphics and technical hurdles for Tigris, showcasing the tough, unpredictable nature of chip development and the market. This backdrop frames the kinds of obstacles Altman faces, the technical complexity, market unpredictability, and intense competition that can impact his reputation and the success of his current and future endeavors. Speaking of competition, the AI chip market is fiercely contested, with many players aiming for a piece of the pie. Standing tall above them all is NVIDIA, the powerhouse dominating the market. NVIDIA, with its stronghold on over 80% of the market, is the chief supplier for OpenAI and others, driving AI advancements with its innovative chips and technology. This makes NVIDIA the biggest challenge for Altman, as it boasts resources, expertise, and market share that Altman's project seeks to match. When we talk about benefits and impact of this ambitious plan, we must say that economically, AI is a powerhouse, predicted to add trillions to the global GDP and create millions of jobs, showcasing AI infrastructure's vital role in supporting this growth. AI infrastructure underpins the industry, driving value, innovation, and efficiency, making it essential for countries to remain competitive in the global market. Socially, AI is reshaping every facet of life, with its influence only set to grow. This transformative power highlights the need for accessible, robust AI infrastructure to harness AI's benefits, address challenges, and ensure broad participation in the AI-driven future. Thus, Altman's vision isn't just about technological advancement. It's about shaping a future where AI's full potential can be realized globally, emphasizing the project's broader significance beyond the tech sphere. 
OpenAI stands as a beacon in AI research, driving innovations like ChatGPT. From its founding in 2015 by tech luminaries, its mission has been to advance AI in ways that benefit humanity broadly, aspiring towards artificial general intelligence. The company has evolved, expanding its research, releasing influential tools, and adapting to the changing landscape with strategic shifts and leadership changes. For instance, Sam Altman's transition to chairman and the introduction of new leadership roles reflect OpenAI's ongoing transformation and commitment to its ambitious goals. Recent leadership and board changes signal a strategic realignment, positioning OpenAI for future challenges and opportunities in the AI domain. These shifts underscore OpenAI's journey from a nonprofit to a hybrid model, aiming to leverage AI's transformative potential while navigating the industry's competitive and collaborative dynamics. All right. That wraps up our video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.